voi ci siete, possiamo cominciare? Bene così. Shall I say with good morning? Hi, I'm Tagherid or Tagherid. I study um, English literature. I'm from Palestine, Gaza, and this is my first time like in Italy. I'm in my last year. I'm gonna like I graduate. So you are already thinking about your thesis, I suppose. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You remind me. <laughs> This is my first time out of Gaza, how to say, yeah. And I'm here as Erasmus Plus student at Siena. So I didn't know a lot about Siena. Actually, I searched in Google or on the web, something like that. And they, they told me that Siena was built on hills. And then when I came here, I've seen the ups and downs, ups, and I said, okay, the hills now, <laughs> this is the hills. And my university, San Nicolo, it's really close to my home here. And by the way, I love small cities. You can have your own life. I live in university residence, Berendia. The very first days I came here to Siena, I was alone, not knowing anybody. The first people I've met, they were all Italian in my residence. So they say, okay, come down and talk to us. And funny thing, I had a friend called Valeria. Me and her, we've met before in a party. Okay, piacere, tagrid, uh, Valeria. And then I was asleep and said, okay, bye bye. But then in the class, in syntactical structures, I told her, okay, I've seen you before. And she told me, I've seen you before. And I was like, okay, where? Corte di Miracoli, yes! And then we became really close friends. We have funny, funny moments together. And then she introduced me to other friends like Dario, Carlo, Eleonora. Uh, these guys make it easier for me to adopt the situation. And then I start to know more people, yeah? This is like a funny story because every time I say I study English literature at a Siena, they told me, Siena, English, what the hell exactly? <laughs> so I keep saying, okay, this is like was a, a little bit a problem if we could say because I uh, specialized in my university in English. We had a contract between the University of Siena and my university, QOU, Quds Open University back in Gaza. So even though it was an Italian, I followed one literature course, like as a challenge for me. And I got a 26 in the, in the exam, so quite a success. And um, I only expected to learn Italian. Like after six months, I wouldn't say that I speak Italian. I normally say, un bo when people start to speak really fast and fluent, I tell them, okay, non parlo italiano. <laughs> I was joking, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and they were saying, you're in Siena, you're in Toscana. Tos Toscana? Toscana. And like, this is the origin of the Italian. Do you see how you could not speak Italian? My family is really happy to be in here. And they encouraged me to be here too. And they told me, okay, you have to consider a master in Siena here. Like, How do you find the people? Uh, really great people. Now, I could say the Italians, they are really nice, they're really helpful. And Siena for me, it was like a really, really great opportunity and a chance. When I went to Rome in October and I found that chaotic city. So the first thing I said, I want to go home. Siena, you know? <laughs> The funny thing, I've been involved in the Italian community more than the Erasmus community. You feel like important, you know, I'm international, I'm not European. But like to live a daily life of the European thing, it was really different and really interesting. The people, they are interested to know your culture, especially your religion, for example. This is, makes a good conversations to follow. Uh, what else we need more than conversations, you know? Thank you.